Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. So before starting the next world today, we're going back to Agrabah to claim the Room of Rewards treasure. And it's probably the worst Room of Rewards treasure. I'll just go out and say it. It is not a good treasure. But we need it. <laughs> because why the heck not? Nine valued red card. Oh boy, do we even have. Oh yes, we do. Sleeping Darkness, nine valued green card. We'll use our Alchemic Waking, and then key rewards. That's pr a pretty heavily guarded door considering the prize inside. Just gotta say that. Our prize is none other than. Blazing Donald. Eh, this probably sounds pretty weird, so let's check out what that exactly means. <laughs> Blazing Donald. Donald flubs a fire spell. Fire, Donald, any magic card. That letter causes Donald to burn his butt and run across the screen, mildly damaging enemies if he happens to hit them. It's terrible. It's kind of funny, but it's terrible. And yes, I did go out of my way to get that one, as opposed to any other Cave Rewards room. Because, as I've seen... If you use your Key of Rewards card, you're going to get another one pretty quickly. And again, you can't start getting Key of Rewards cards until you uh, reach the Atlantica uh, set, the second set of cards. Free cards, yay! Alrighty. Tenth floor, here we come. Now, before we go through, take in my main deck, I want to add some funders. Now we're going to remove some cards. Let's remove that. And we'll remove... Alrighty. Let's move on to Neverland. My favorite world out of the bunch here. Now, where are we? The floor is kind of unsteady. I can hear the ocean, too. I know! We must be inside a ship! Well, we'd better find a way out. But which way do we go? <laughs> Who are you? That's Tinkerbell. Maybe she's trying to help us. Looks like you're right. Key of Beginnings. Welcome to Neverland. So this takes place entirely inside Captain Hook's ship, and boy howdy does Captain Hook have a big pirate ship. Seriously, look at the size of this! Captain Hook, where did you get a pirate ship this big? Also, I love this battle music so much. And yeah, Fundiga is so amazingly good. Dun 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 Dun, 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 dun. I got one thing I want to do, though. There we go. Take that. Crescendos are back for some reason, and these are pirates. Pirates are really the only annoying enemy in this world. Seriously, fun to guy is just so amazing. And we couldn't use it in the last world because half the enemies actually filled HP from Fundaga. 
All right. Oh, let's use a guarded trove. Please and thank you. We've got to get some treasure. Oh, what do you know? The key of rewards. Well, thankfully, we can actually use that in this world. Hey, hey, hey. Let's me open that chest. Learned teleport. Nice. All right. And the lion. Wow, a lion heart keyblade. That's nice. All right. New plan. We're gonna find the key to reward the room of rewards in here as fast as possible. Captain Hook's private pirate ship. Learned homing Fyra. Excellent. Let's look at our uh, status now. Homing Fyra. Uh, cast a Fyra spell that seeks out the targeted enemy. Well, that's kind of what the fire spells do anyways. Arrow, fire, any magic card. Then we also learned teleport, which is... Uh, yep, teleport. Rematerialize behind the targeted enemy, stunning it for a short time. Any magic card, any magic card, and Peter Pan. Or stop arrow and any item card. Yeah, there's some weird slates in here. Alright, that leads to nowhere. I'm guessing that's the way out. Room of Rewards is probably over there? I have no idea where the Room of Rewards is going to be, actually. Feeble Darkness. Alright, we need a valued free green card. New Lasting Days. Value 7 red, or red card. Looming Darkness, and Key Rewards. Ooh, look at all this treasure. And I believe this Room of Rewards is actually a really good room. Yeah! Thunder Raid! It's like Fire Raid and Blizzard Raid, except with Thunder. Then again, I'm using all my Thunder cards for Fundaga, so... There's that. But, it's still a good, uh, slate. Especially if you have the yellow opera card. Ooh! I leveled up! Nice! CP, please! Do I have more funders I can equip? Nah, I've used them all. That's okay. Oh, an elixir could be really nice. Maybe later. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot to go over this. Ursula halves the damage you take from enemies' magic attacks. Pretty good. I added one Keyblade card. Oh, looky here! Another key to rewards. Okay. Well, let's get out of here. Unless, of course, there's a uh, special room we need to enter first. If I can reach the Key of Beginnings door beforehand, that'll be ideal. A premium room! That's the first card I've gotten uh, regarding that. That basically makes a room where enemies drop uh, the little icons that give you premium cards. I actually don't like that room. Surprise, surprise. Alrighty, well... Let's see, next on our list for the Key of Rewards... Wonderland. Fifteen green... Oh, that's fun, because the game hates giving me green cards. Key to rewards. This is going to be worth it. <laughs> it's not going to be worth it. 
But hey, I want to at least try. We learned Stop Raid. Okay. I mean, I guess that's a decent one. It's like Strike Raid the Slate, except it also stops enemies along the way. But I don't like the Stop ability, because that you can essentially damage them enough that they're going to die, but it won't actually kill them until the stop wears off. And it's really hard to lock onto other enemies. Back to Neverland. So now if we get another key of rewards, all we really have to do is go back to Halloween Town, and other than that, we just use them in the current world. Hey, the Fairy Harp Keyblade! That was fast. Alright, we already have begun up, and that was a big no-no. So we're going this way. Let's use one of our false bounty cards. Also, false bounties have enemies in them. Also, my fingers are getting kind of sore from having to use stock all these cards. Ooh, learn a new slate, yes. Holy! Inflict damage on a targeted enemy and the surrounding enemies. Mega Ether, Mega Elixir, any item card. Well, great! We can't even use that because we don't have Mega Ethers or Mega Elixirs. And we ain't gonna get Mega Elixirs anytime soon. Alright, that's the example of the false bounty. That chest had an enemy in it. Alright, and we get a blizzard. <laughs> that was worth it. That was worth it. Not. Let's use a mobile room. I want more thunder cards. More thunder cards or more cloud cards would be great. Oh, and nice. More moogle points. I feel like Atlantica was incredibly stingy on the moogle points, but now... Fun uh, Neverland is being great. So we get the free attack pack. Alright. Alright. Okay, let's buy the cheapest one, because why not? Yay, we get another thunder! Sweet! I actually am going to um, add that. Or rather, what I'm going to do, I'm going to... I'm removing the blizzard and adding the thunder. And I'm showing off thunder raid, I guess. <laughs> We can go up. We want to go up. Because we haven't gone up before. Let's see. Sorceress Wake. I like Sorceress Waking, especially now that I have a lot of magic cards. <laughs> Even though I don't really benefit from it, I had any extra values. Alright. Thunder Raid. Oh, that's actually terrible. Why is that a key for rewards? Like, reward? That's awful. CP, please, and thank you once again. Tasty. Alright, that's the key of guidance door. Okay. We'll come back to there later. Alright, we need a blue card of some kind. Oh, wow, we've got a lot of false bounties. Let's use that. Then a freer lower. We've got quite a few zeros there. And then key beginnings. Is it just me, or are all the rooms starting to look the same? Maybe we're just going in circles. Somehow she was. I think you might have ruffled her feathers, Donald. Tink, what are you doing? You weren't supposed to bring the pirates with you. Stay back, pirates, or this will be the last fight you pick. Don't be so rude. We're not pirates. We're only here because... Because... Um, why are we here, Sora? How am I supposed to know, Donald? Goofy, what do you think? 
Gorsh beats me. Okay, okay, I get the picture. Sora, Donald, and Goofy, right? I guess pirates wouldn't get lost on their own ship. And you're dressed funny. There you go again! Wait, so if you thought we were pirates, this must be a pirate ship! That's right, you're trapped inside the notorious Captain Hook's vessel. Well, if we're trapped, that means you are too! Me? Don't be silly. No one can capture Peter Pan. I'm just lying low until it's time to make my move. Uh, what move is that? The pirates kidnapped my friend Wendy. She's got to be somewhere on this ship. I didn't expect there to be so many watchmen, though. I think they sent Tink to look for a way around. But all she found was you. I bet I know what Tink had in mind. If we all make a big enough racket, we can distract the pirates. Gorsh, you must have read her mind. So, how about it? Let's work together, at least until we get above deck. Well, why not? Of course, I could save Wendy myself if I wanted to. But you guys look like you'd be stuck without me. Don't you have any manners? And we get the key of guidance. And now Peter Pan's in our party. Nice. He's kind of like Ariel, but better than Ariel. Ariel just flies by once and deals minimal damage. Peter Pan flies by multiple times and actually deals decent damage, as I'm going to show. How dare you. Take this. Well, what do you know? It's the key to rewards. Oh, great. Why did it have to be my Lionheart that we can't... Well, actually, that could come in handy, I suppose. That'll make it cost way less to equip. Hey, now. Alright. Guess what? We're going back to Halloween Town. Actually, hang on. So that's the key to rewards. Alright. Okay, alright. Alright, okay, uh -huh, amen. I know what to do. So yeah, we're gonna head out, head to Halloween Town, grab the Room of Rewards prize. And then we can come back here, do the Key of Guidance, and do the... Aw, oh, man! That's not what I wanted at all. Another Dark Ball! Yeah, see what I mean? The Dark Ball's like the most common enemy card by far. Hey, Moogle. Trading in a Dark Ball. I definitely don't need two of them. Okay. I'm actually going to go to 100 Acre Wood. Go down a floor and then come out of Halloween Town from the exit. 20 red. And then the key of rewards. Wow, we have opened every room of rewards that we've encountered thus far. We've earned Gravity Raid. If that's anything like Thunder Raid, count me out. Seriously, Thunder Raid is such a waste. Alright, for the third time, we're in Captain Hook's ship. Oh, lord. Let's just plow through here. I've already fought a ton of enemies in Neverland. Gotten quite a few level ups. I just want to get this over with. Alright, key of guidance. We need a green card, any green card. We'll use stagnant space. Seven card or higher. Who's teaming? No, I need at least a seven. Alright, do that, and then key of guidance. It's Wendy! There she is! Peter? Peter Pan! Wendy, are you okay? I've come to rescue you with my free assistance. <laughs> come on, let's get off this ship and go explore Neverland. We'll never grow up. Listen, Peter, there's something I've got to tell you. I want to go home to London. What are you talking about? 
Stay here in Neverland, and you can be a kid forever! Every day will be an adventure! If you go back to London, you'll stop being a kid. You'll grow up, and we'll never see each other again. I know, Peter, but I still want to go home. I came here to rescue you, and you don't care if you don't ever see me again? No, you don't understand. Suit yourself, and while you're at it, rescue yourself. I'm leaving. Hey, wait a minute. There he goes. Peter. Not very thoughtful, is he? What do we do now? Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we think of something after we get to the deck? What kind of idea is that? But you do have a point. Well, there's still trouble waiting outside. Wendy, you stay here. We'll try to create a distraction. Okay, I understand. Maybe if you stay here, Peter will change his mind and come back. Key of Truth. Um... Did it just port us? It sure did. Now we've got to go all the way around again. Because why the heck not? We got another level up once again. HP. It's about time for HP. What do you know? Another key to rewards. We're all set for the next world. Zero value kingdom key. One value kingdom key. No kingdom key. Alright, time for the boss. And because it's time for the boss, we're switching back to our Ars Arcanum deck, I think. Let's see, we can do that. I want to have Oogie Boogie in the deck. And also a heal or two. Let's see, 37. That'll be good too much. 29, 30. Aha! Perfect! Excellent. Alright, we're all set. This is a really tough boss coming up. I'm just going to say, one of the toughest bosses in the GBA version of uh, Chain of Memories. Alright. Red card. Any red card. We're using a premium room because I hate those. And now a zero card. I probably should have used Looming Darkness for that. Oh, we'll do uh, Teaming Darkness. Followed by Key of Truth. And we can get out of this ship. Wow, we finally made it out! There you are, you rascals! I'll teach you to stow away on Captain Hook's vessel! Friends of Peter Pan, I'll wager. Are we his friends? He sure didn't seem to think so. Yeah, the way he took off like that. He even ditched Wendy. I'm not finished talking yet! How dare you ignore me and plot behind my back! Uncivilized brats, you're in cahoots with Peter Pan, no mistake. If you say so, either way, you're gonna let us off this ship. And Wendy's coming with us. Think again, you scallywags! Hook's one step ahead of you. Wendy! Any trouble and Wendy swims with the sharks? You warning! Believe me, I'd rather not. After all, I need Wendy to lure out that blasted Peter Pan. Then I'll just have to take the bait, you old codfish. Peter! Here I am, Hook. Miss me? Insolent pop! Today's the day you pay for taking my hand. Uh-oh. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa! You've made a fool of me for the last time, Peter Pan. I'll skewer the lot of you. So now we get to fight Captain Hook, who's very good. Oh, did he break my Ars Arcanum combo even though I have Attack Bracer? Yeah, he did. Dog on it. Yeah, he's got some high value attack cards, and he can it's very powerful and combos you and can stun lock you in place if he wants. Dana. it. 
Take that. I thought the attack bracer worked for slates as well. Alright, I gotta get to my heal. This is not good. Oogie Boogie, save my life, please! <laughs> Yeah, hook's super powerful. Peter Pan, beat him up. Peter Pan, that dealt hardly any damage at all. Alright, so much for my Amazing Ars Arcanum deck. I should have just used Sonic Blade. Come on. Thank you. Yes! Okay. So Ars Arcanum and Jafar is not as broken as I thought. Still pretty good, though. Hook! Hmm. Beat him on my first try, though. Hook is a really hard boss fight. Thanks, Peter. We owe you one. Well, at first I thought I'd let you handle the situation, but I couldn't just stand by when things got out of hand. Looks like I might have underestimated you, though. You did good! Look, Wendy, about London, are you sure you won't change your mind? Peter, I'm sorry, but I really want to go home. I was afraid of that. Everyone grows up, and grown-ups always forget. First you'll forget what it feels like to be a kid, and then you'll forget about me. How can you say such a thing, Peter? I'll never, ever forget you. Sure, that's what you think now. But when you try to remember me, the memories will be gone. You'll forget, little by little, one memory at a time. Once you've grown up, there won't be a single memory left. Don't say that. Memories, even important ones, don't come back to us whenever we want them to. But that doesn't mean the memories are gone. It's more like, like they're sleeping. So when the right thing comes along and wakes the memory up, we can remember it. The memories engraved in our hearts never go away. I'm sure of it. He's right, Peter. Never, huh? It's funny. Grown-ups shouldn't be able to see in me anymore. But I have a feeling you guys just might be different. Okay, Sora. If you say we'll meet again, then I believe you. Oh, Peter! Let's go, Wendy. London is waiting. Goodbye, Sora. I'll be waiting to see what you look like all grown up. What's the matter, Tink? This must be a gift from Peter. Maybe he's not such a thoughtless guy after all. Ow! Another gift from Peter? What's the big idea? That is weird. And we get Tinkerbell. She's the final summon of the game. Basically, you use her and you rapidly tap A and it'll slowly restore your HP. It's decent. Alright, we're heading into another boss fight, so... Looks like my Arsarcanum deck sucks, so I'm getting rid of that. Okay, so now here's the thing. This guy we're coming up against is ice-based, so we want fire. So first off, Red Nocturne. Now we're going to use that fire. And we basically want a lot of fire raids, so... Alright, now let's get our highest valued cards.
Looks like a pretty good deck. Alright, let's go and take on this next fight. Who are you? That's no way to greet a stranger, Sora. I am Vexen. I've come to collect your debt. Do you owe him something? Of course not. Oh, but you do. You owe me for reuniting you with your former friend. You didn't mean... Yes, I'm the one who brought Riku to you. So, you're the one. You're the one who's been controlling him. What have you done with him? I see no need to tell you. Why trouble you in your final moments? So this is Vexen. He has a shield made of ice, so he uh, uses ice attacks. As such, he's weak to fire. As you can see, we took out a huge chunk of his HP with our fire rate. Holy cow! Look at that! Granted, we have our red Nocturne card, which helps. Yeah. And that shield also means we can't attack him in the front. Alright, I'm gonna wait for him to use that free... Actually, mine's better. Holy cow! Are you guys seeing this? So, Fire Raid plus the Nocturne card is good. <laughs> Goodbye, Vexen! Wow, that was incredibly easy! Woohoo! Level up! Oh, yes! I've been waiting for this. Mega Efer! That's really useful. Alright, boosting up our CP again. Doop, 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 doop. Splendid! As expected, you don't die so easily. As if I'd ever lose to you. You'll yet have your chance. As we fought, I delved deep into your memory. As we fought, you mean as I wiped the absolute floor with you? And look what I found. This is a card crafted from memories locked in the other side of your heart. If you want to fight me for real, then step into the world within this card. Come back! Other side? What's he talking about? We obtained a world card. I got a bad feeling about all this. We should be careful. Another side of your heart? Is that where the stuff you forget goes? Is it just me, or has Vexen finally lost it? Now he's done something really rash. What now, Axel? The show's over if Sora finds out about the other side. If he just passes through without catching on, we can patch things up later. But if not... Let Naminé handle this. In the meantime, Axel, you know what to do. No, I don't. Maybe you could spell it out for me. Rid us of our traitor. Done. There's no taking that order back later. A card made of memories from the other side of your heart? I wonder what it does. Only one way to find out. Besides, it's the only card we have left. Castle Oblivion, 11th floor. So we actually only have three floors left in the game, which is, uh, interesting. You think there are memories on the other side of my heart? Kinda scary. If you ask me, Vexen's waiting to spring a trap on us! Yeah, this is obviously a trap, but we're just going to have to wander right into it. That's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We'll be heading to the new world and fighting Vexen for real. Although, admittedly, he's going to be pretty much exactly the same. 
hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless. Thank <laughs> you.